So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna, aka Hook by Brianna, and I am a crochet artist, if you couldn't tell already. So today's video was supposed to be like a tutorial for a long springy slash summer cardigan. It's just lighter than my usual cardigans. But <laughs> this video had so much trial and error, I'm just going to make this a make this sweater with me because it was a roller coaster. I was sick, I'm still a little bit sick, but I am better enough to finish this video. And so you're just gonna see the real process of being a crochet artist, the trial and error that happens all the time, and how much you have to persevere <laughs> to finish some projects like this. If you want a more constructive video, you can go ahead and check out my long crochet cardigan guide video I made about a year ago. It's practically the same thing, but the construction is a little different and I did make the squares more flowy. All right, so first things first, here's the original design. So this is the back panel right here and I'm just making it a six by three. So we want it to be six squares long, three wide. So that's the plan though. It's not how it went. But then the sleeves were two squares long each. And I thought they would stretch to be long enough later. You'll see I was wrong. And keep in mind that my squares measured approximately six by six unstretched, but they were super stretchy since I used such a big hook with a lightweight yarn. But once I attach everything together later in the video, it wasn't as big as I thought it would be. I also wanted to make it clear that here are the front panels as well. It's the same amount of squares as on the back. I just wanted you to be able to see that. And this is also where I wanted to place my pockets. And keep in mind, these sleeves are also stacked, so it's four squares. So this layout used a total of 40 granny squares, but like I said before, I did end up making more later. All right, so to make the granny squares, <clears throat> this is basically the basic granny square pattern or whatever, but I use extended double crochets rather than just normal double crochets. And this makes it more flowy and open for the hotter seasons. And FYI, I use weight three yarn and a 7.5 millimeter hook. So here is the layout for the cardigan. Well, my first attempt, I did end up having to add an extra row later. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I connect my granny squares for my cardigans. So first I'm just making sure I have them flipped on the bad sides. And then I attach my hook to the corners of both squares. Grab my yarn, which already has a slip knot, and then I will single crochet these two squares together like so. And here's what it looked like once I went all the way down the row. And now I'm just going to chain up one and tie that off. As you can see, here's what the seam looks like on the inside of the cardigan, and this is how the outside will look. I personally like to attach my squares like this because it keeps them super stretchy and sturdy at the same time. So for example, here is our back panel. As you can see, this is what it looks like whenever this is connected together. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect all of these strips that I already connected three squares together with so we can make this one large back panel. So here it is all single crocheted together. So here's what my front panels are looking like. Keep in mind that they are stretched down right now. So it does look a little skinnier than it'll probably be later. But if it does end up being too skinny, I'm just going to do some normal um, extended double crochet rows around here, like with the granny stitch. And that should be able to make it a little wider. So later in the video, you'll see it was way too skinny. So now for the sleeve, I went ahead and sand crocheted these four squares together. And now I'm going to go ahead and close it into a tube. So we're going to make sure that these ridges are still on the outside so we can make our last seam with the single crochet right here. So this is where we're at right now. All of our pieces have been single crocheted together. And now, like, of course, these sleeves are probably not long enough and I might end up making the cardigan long enough. Um, I might end up making the cardigan longer 
than it is right now but I can always add length so I'm not worried about that I'm just gonna go ahead and crochet all of these pieces together and then if needed I can crochet additional um, squares to add on to it but before we do that I do want to clean up these edges so I'm gonna go ahead and do the granny square stitch around this entire front panel which like I said before won't really matter anyways because I had to add additional rows and this front panel and then I might as well just go ahead and do it around this whole back panel as well just so the edges are nice and smooth if I don't end up adding anything to them okay so this is how you do the granny stitch if you just want to make your items wider bigger whatever you want to call it so I am showing y'all my front panel right now I am going to clean up the edges as well as making it a little bigger than it already is so we're gonna start off in our corner the slip stitch and chain up four and then I'm going to skip into this space right here and do an extended double crochet and we'll place three of those in that stitch, well, in that space. And then after that, we will just continue placing three extended double crochets in each space, no single crochets or anything in between. And then I'll show y'all what to do whenever you get to like a spot like here where the squares are connected and how to turn corners. All right, so now we are here. So we will not be going into this space or this space, but we will be going into this little middle st connecting stitch, I guess. And we will place three extended double crochets in that stitch. There you go. So then it's kind of like a seamless way to keep the granny stitch going like so and now I will meet back with y'all once I make it to a corner so you can see how to turn those so as you can see we just went around the corner so just like the normal granny squares we just have three extended double crochet chain one and three more extended double crochet in that same space and that's how you turn a corner and next I will just show you how to end off this little border so now we made it back to the beginning so this is where we did our chain four in our little corner so now we're going to skip well we'll have three extended double crochets here and then in this space we're going to place three extended double crochets chain one and then make two extended double crochets because you will be slip stitching that together in this third chain right here to make it look just like all of the other corners. So this is what the finished corner should look like. I already chained up my one and now I'm just going to cut this and tie off. And here is the finished edge. Nice and seamless. So now I finished making the extra border on all of the back panel and the two front panels. So now we are finally to the point where we can construct everything together and see if it does end up to be long enough. So for the front panels, we are going to have wrong side facing wrong side. Later you will see that I also messed this part up. I should have did it wrong side with the right side. For just this seam only. And then, oh, never mind. It is for all of this. So we're going to do it up here. And then we're going to skip this section because that's where we need to put our sleeves later. And then we will be seam crocheting the whole side together. And we're going to repeat that with the other front panel as well. So this is what the cardigan looked like after I single crocheted all of the pieces together. As you can see, my worst fears came true. Um, my sleeves were too short and then the front panels, they were entirely too skinny. It had too much of the front open. I mean, you could wear it like this, but it wasn't to my liking. And at this point, I also noticed that I did have a construction issue. The wrong side was on the outside. 
So now let's get into the redesign to make the front look a little bit better and more full. So the back panel, we're gonna keep that the same. So it'll be three by six right here. But now instead of making two columns for the front panel, we're gonna make a total of four columns for the front panel. So two columns on each side. So this visual is kind of treacherous. So I'm going to draw the front and the back panel separately so you can probably see it more clearly. So again, the back panel will be six by three. We aren't changing that, but whenever it comes to the front panel, that's where the changes will come in. So the front panel is six squares long and two squares wide with two different sections. So with those additions, I will have a total of 52 granny squares. So then I reconstructed everything like my second sketch that I just showed you guys. And here is how it turned out. And then I just sewed this pocket on my third granny square down because that's where I wanted it to be because it does like stretch down when I actually have it on. And now I just have to sew this on with my yarn needle as well. To make a pocket, you just grab an extra granny square and place it on top of another one wherever you want the pockets to fall and you just sew it together with a yarn needle. I like to leave my pockets open on the top for my cardigans, but you probably could leave the side open too if you would like the pocket to open up on the side instead of the top. So as you can see here, I did add a slit. So rather than single crocheting all the way down the sides like I did previously, when I had to take the whole thing apart and everything back together I decided to do a slit instead so I just didn't um, single crochet the last two squares together so that's how you make little slits and remember how at first there wasn't enough like cardigan in the front so what I did was I made two new rows of squares because it did just stop right here which was very skinny <laughs> And I knew that, but I didn't know it was gonna be that skinny. And then I also made additional squares to make some pockets, which I did kind of show in the video. And also, I didn't add more to the sleeves. It just got longer when I added the extra rows because now the original row is right here. So it made the sleeves more like relaxed and more long. And then in the back, Previously, I had the seams on the outside, and that's why I had to take apart the whole cardigan and redo it again. But now, as you can see, the right side is out, and all of the seams are on the inside like they were supposed to be. So, through all of that trouble, the cardigan is finally done. Rather than this being like a tutorial that it was planned to be, it just turned out to be a fail video turned success just a realistic video of how a lot of my projects go y'all just don't see that so i just wanted to show y'all the real process of designing things don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you haven't seen my guide to a long green square cardigan go ahead and check that out in the cards